to underrank in week one to making it all the way to first place in group stage, uh, group stage, yeah, group stage, and then all the way to making it to grand finals and then actually dropping to key fam. Many ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. Big right. Favorite moment of matches? I think it's probably in the final series against Geek Fam, where it's like a roller coaster where I, we had to like micromanage all our players' emotions, like tell them everything is fine, and then like, like just tell them like just focus on the game, don't tell, don't have a mental breakdown, just focus on the game. It was pretty memorable actually out of all the games I played in so far. Um, during a qualifying series in Malaysia, right? In the Malaysian region. Um, of course, it's gonna be firstly the loss against UR in week one because we only got our imports for less than two weeks and then we had like very minimal scrim time together, which led us to like a lot of doubts and potentially hate that we got because the first place team dropping their first series in like in out of so long, and then which we kind of like adopted ourselves for a bit, and then like as the season gradually paced into the playoffs and everything. We started look getting better and better up until the Keep Fam series where we actually dropped the entire series. So yeah, those are the two crucial moments I would say. Of course, even though we're in the play-ins, right, none of the opponents are weak. All, all of them are strong. Like, even the second second or third team coming from uh, the Thailand region, the Vietnamese region, or even the Taiwan region, they are very strong. So I'm looking forward to see how far BJD can go in the upcoming team. Uh, C tournament. I think it's most likely gonna be facing. Actually, I would I would want to face Buriram again and maybe like a Taiwanese team again. Yeah, that would that would be pretty cool. For players, I think of course it's gonna be Chile, BJD Chile, and most probably the Shang from Geek Fam. These two players, especially Chile. Chile has like a overall a very diverse champion pool, and he's very he's a very he has a very commanding role in the team where he's like the leader and when it comes to the shang right he's very mechanically talented as well and then he as well is also like a leader to his own team as well so we see like both of these players right they have like this leader role and then at the same time they have like very good mechanical skills in the game winning sea champions essentially means that it will help malaysia um, grow as a region entirely when it comes to large esports and esports so if we are even able to, not to say even able, if we are able to at least make a miracle out of groups into like playoffs for the upcoming sea championship, then yeah, I'm gonna set my target as low as possible right now to get out of play-ins and group stage first before I talk about winning sea championship. I mean, continue doubting us, continue hating us. I won't really get bothered by it, but yeah, if there's doubts, means there's something I have to prove and I'll try my best to actually prove it until they no longer doubt our team or me.